If you follow some kind of life guru on the internet, you have probably heard of cold showers and its amazing benefits before. It often gets described as something out of this world that will transform your life in a couple of days. Can it really be so easy? Life, most certainly, can be that easy if we allow it to be. Even though most of the claims are anecdotal, the overwhelming positive attitude of people who have tried it indicates that there must be some truth to the claims. Unfortunately, there aren't too many scientific studies to back up all the claims. In the end, it may not even be about what it does to your body, but what it does to your mind that makes it such an outstanding experience. People in ancient times used some form of cold water immersion in their lives. Back in the day, hot water was a luxury. Only some people living near hot springs could enjoy the occasional hot bath. So out of necessity, for most of human history, we bathed in cold water. From the ancient Greeks and Romans to the people in modern Japan who have a cold exposure ritual called misogi, or the Scandinavians who are famously known to jump into ice cold water after the sauna. They all had some form of exposure to the cold in the regimes of daily life. Enhanced mood, alertness, focus and energy. According to a meta-analysis of existing cold water immersion research published in the British Journal of Sports and Medicine, cold showers have been shown to have many physiological effects on the body. Step into a cold shower and the first thing you are going to do is to take a big deep breath. After that you will start panting and moving, your breathing will become deep and erratic. Your heart will start to beat faster too. Those increased heart and respiratory rates will provide the body with plenty of oxygen and the shock of the sudden rush of cold water over your body will create a heightened sense of alertness and invigoration that will last even longer than the shower itself. Maybe it's my favorite. So look how calm she is as well. When it comes to mood, some research theorizes that cold showers can have mood-boosting effects. An article in the Journal of Medical Hypotheses shows that because cold showers activate the sympathetic nervous system and increases the availability of neurotransmitters such as adrenaline and endorphins, people may be less likely to experience depressive symptoms after a cold shower. The same study suggests that a cold shower is expected to send an overwhelming amount of electrical impulses from peripheral nerve endings to the brain, which could result in an antidepressant effect. It is a money and time saver. People often tend to forget the cumulative effects that small changes in your life can have. When it comes to taking cold showers, you will be able to save a lot of money and even more importantly, your precious time that was given to you to spend wisely on this earth. There really isn't anything wrong in taking a long hot shower from time to time. Still, by just reducing your showering time from 15 to 5 minutes a day, which will be an inevitable result of you taking cold showers, as you will naturally make it as short as possible, you will save up to 70 minutes in just one week or almost 3 full days in a year. Improved immune system and blood circulation. A study in the Netherlands that enrolled 3,019 people that took normal showers and then used an up to 90 seconds application of cold water showed that people were 29% less likely to call in sick for work or school. Furthermore, cold exposure will elevate the level of glutathione, which is an important antioxidant, and also significantly reduce the amount of uric acid in your body. A study published in the Journal of Free Radical Biology and Medicine came to the conclusion that these changes can be viewed as an adaptation to repeated oxidative stress and is postulated as a mechanism for body hardening. Hardening is the exposure to a natural, e.g. thermal stimulus, resulting in an increased tolerance to stress, e.g. diseases. Moreover, cold showers improve circulation by means of sending blood down to your organs to keep them warm. 
This stimulation of the circulatory system is great for your overall cardiovascular health and was an inherent part of the human experience for most of our time in existence. Scott Carney talks about the so-called mammalian response of vasoconstriction, which also is called the diving reflex. Take for example the basic mammalian response of vasoconstriction. Your body has about 60,000 miles of tubing in it. Uh, there are arteries that take blood away from your heart and veins that bring it back. And along the arteries are something called smooth muscle, which will contract to bring the blood into your core if you're cold. Now, if you were to plunge into ice water right now, that would squinch with so much force that the, your hands would just be incredibly cold. But you actually have to get cold and actually feel that sensation in order to activate that muscular response. There's never been any evolutionary pressure to put it under conscious control. And that means that the vast majority of us who live under climate control conditions never experience vasoconstriction. We don't see temperature and the environment in the same way as we do, say, exercise. It stimulates weight loss. The theory is the following. Cold showers and cold exposure in general activate so-called brown adipose tissue, which is also called brown fat. And this is known to generate heat and causes this type of fat to burn more calories in the process. When stimulated often enough, cold exposure will trigger the conversion of white fat to brown fat to help us insulate against the cold which can lead to a prolonged and long-running effect of more calories burned each and every day. Furthermore, cold water forces your body to work harder to keep you warm, burning directly calories in the process. The number of calories burned depends, of course, on your height and weight, your genetics in general, how cold the water is and how long you take the shower. Nonetheless, if we count just 25 calories more burned at each shower a day, we would have burned about 750 calories a month and about 9000 calories a year. Better sleep. Ironically, while cold showers wake you up in the morning or during the day, it is also the best way to get an incredible night of sleep. There is evidence that people sleep better when their body and environment is slightly cooler. Taking a cold shower obviously has a cooling effect on your body and taken about 1 hour or 30 minutes before bed, a cold shower will lower your core temperature and relax your mind. It will also allow you to wash off all the emotional baggage from that day. The unexpected psychological benefits. All those benefits fade in comparison to the changes that will happen to your mind and character by just choosing the harder route over the easy one once in a while. The brief act of taking a cold shower will create an amazing sense of accomplishment that can last for hours. Doing things that improve your life, especially those that are harder to do, those that feel like a freaking battle you have to fight every time you step toward them, those things will create psychological hardening and momentum in your life that will give you the energy to tackle even harder tasks as time goes by. They say to start a productive day you should make your bed. Now add to it a cold shower in the morning and you will immediately feel the burning passion to go out into the world and do the next best thing to improve your life. Repeating such days and building a longer and longer streak can truly lead to a different life in a matter of months. You will also train your discipline and willpower. I look at cold showers like some kind of reverse addiction. When addicted, you do the things that feel extremely good and slowly destroy your life by doing so. When reverse addicted, you do the things that feel extremely awful and slowly build up an armor against it. It is outside of your comfort zone where life is happening. And cold showers will teach you that life doesn't have to be comfortable all the time. And that this state of discomfort can even become enjoyable if the mindset is at the right place. It is only in a state of discomfort 
that we can grow. And cold showers will make you accept this fundamental truth if you let them. I said, if you're not willing or able to be the type of person that is willing to be uncomfortable for five minutes alone in the shower, where the only negative outcome is you being cold for five minutes, and the only person affected by that decision is you, then how will you ever have the strength or the courage to choose to be uncomfortable in a situation where the outcomes are much, much greater and the people affected by your decision far outnumber just yourself? One day you will be old and your grandchildren will maybe sit next to you while you start imagining about your life and how one little thing led to another. You think about how it all ended up in you sitting right here, right now with so many people you love. You go back in time and there she is. You vividly remember how hard it was for you to just start walking towards her and say something. That and of course a beautiful smile which you got as an answer is all that stayed with you for all those years. You won't remember it, but something else happened that day. Just a couple of hours before, the worst moment in your life in which you chose to take the harder road instead of the paved one. You chose something that made you feel like you can conquer the world, or even better, her heart at that meaningful day. Something as simple as rotating the temperature gouge of your shower to freezing cold that day felt just so right. One thing leads to another. You say as you fall asleep with a smile. Tomorrow a new day awaits and with it another choice to make. Peace. Mm, your ideas are intriguing to me and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.